What's going on, monk dudes and monk cats? Hailfire Gaming here, and welcome to the most claustrophobic Let's Play on YouTube. Now, hey, this doesn't look all that claustrophobic. Well, this is what we start with after it loads. This is what we start with. So tell me that this nine blocks of space isn't claustrophobic. Now, I will say I've played this specific. This is Sky Factory 4. Compact Skies world type. And I have played the specific world type like three times easily because I have a lot of fun with it. There are ways to upgrade. In fact, that's what we're going for. The goal of this series is to get all of the compact machines within the quest rewards. The first one we'll get today, which we need to obtain a grass block and then we'll get it. And then things like a porcelain melter, uh, indie, any uh, simple generator... A large, uh, a netherrack, eye of ender, end stone, chorus fruit, nether star, pristine wither matter, dragon's breath, and dragon's head. Honestly, the nether star and the pristine wither matter, it'd probably be easiest to get the nether star from pristine wither matter. So I might just go with that. But, uh, yeah. So this is how we start out. We start out with nothing but an axe and some bonsai pots that have dirt wood in them. What you need. You start from nothing. But these will grow. And if you like games, check out today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Southern New Hampshire University, abbreviated as SNHU. As many of you know, I am a gamer, meaning I love video games. My favorite video game of all time is Final Fantasy VIII. The story, the atmosphere, the characters, all of which are phenomenal, and I love them. There are some elements to the game mechanics I would have done differently had I developed the game myself, however, such as the junction system and the magic system. Unfortunately, the game came out when I was very young, and there's no way I could have been on the development team for it. However, that has not stopped me from creating my own games, given a degree from SNHU. Southern New Hampshire University was voted one of the country's most innovative universities by U.S. News & World Report. SNHU is accredited, nonprofit, and has radically affordable tuition. Your courses are even taught by faculty with real world experience, so you'll have opportunities to connect with people within the industry. And when you graduate, SNHU will still be there to help you as you begin your job hunt. SNHU's online pro game development program gives you the knowledge and experience to create your own video games and help turn it into an actual career for opportunities for growth. You'll learn how to bring your characters and environments to life with 2D and 3D modeling, texturing, and game physics. You'll also learn the three major computer programming languages, C++, C Sharp, and Java, the pillars to every great game. The two most important things when creating a game, after all, are the code and the modeling, as without them, there is no game at all. Other things you'll learn include how to create dynamic and challenging experiences for your players with game AI, and how to create flawless user experiences by learning successful interface design. Go to snhu.edu slash gaming also linked in my description to see if you qualify for SNHU's game development program. You might even be eligible for financial aid or have previous college credits that could fast track your degree at SNHU. Click the link to get started. Okay, to start out, I'm gonna need to say a couple things and I'm gonna need to get a couple things. First thing, this is an item rack from Tinker's Constructs, not a drying rack. They look the same, but all it does is hold items. I don't need this anymore. I can get rid of it. I mean, yeah, I could use it to hold item, an item, but I need an item rack. Or, uh, not an item rack. I need, first of all, a crafting bench. Okay. So, yeah, crafting station. First, I need a crafting station. Uh, can I make that into a crafting station slab? Is, is that possible? It takes up less space that way. Crafting slab. Yeah. How do I do that? Stick. Ah. There we go. So, make this a little bit smaller. Because we don't have a lot of room as is. And I can put it on the ceiling. There. And then, what I need is... Some drying racks. So... Eight drying racks. Way more than I need. But that's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to fix that because I'm OCD. And then we dry eight acorns. So, 
And now these will take their time to dry. While they dry, let's get some more wood. Getting the first compact machine is super easy, in fact. I don't even... I'm already almost there. I need a barrel. And I don't remember how to make a barrel. It has been a while since I've played this, so there will be some relearning. Uh... Is it not a barrel? Great. Crushing a dirt block using dirt. Yeah, I can do that easily. Crushing tub. Uh, cauldron. 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 Okay, so any of them. Okay, it's it's the same as most recipes. It's just doo -doo 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 -doo. cauldron check. Go ahead and make this dirt. Dirt. Very easy to make. Okay, so I've got my dirt. All right. Oh, actually, not as easy as I thought. I'm also going to need a crucible. Because I need water. Or no, a crushing tub would work great. It's not as easy as I thought it would be, but I have these now, so let's go ahead and take this down. Bane mine is in this, which is wonderful. Um, take this dirt sapling and surround it with petrified acorns to get a petrified sapling. Haha, <laughs> I do remember some of it. Let's go ahead and take this dirt sapling out and put a petrified sapling in there. The thing is, I am going to need water to put the dirt in. So it is actually going to take a little longer than I expected. I thought it would be super easy. But I still need to get water. Which means I need to get a clay sapling to get a clay bucket. So, and then I can use the crus crushing tub to get, oh yeah. Also, for food, you can eat your acorns if you cook them. So, there's that. But, uh, making a, uh, you need six stone. And I do not have six stone to make a furnace. So, back to farming. All right, while these grow, I'm going to make a crushing tub. It's three slabs and two planks. Pretty simple to make. Just three slabs and two planks. But I can go ahead and make it. Crushing tub is complete. You can use a crushing tub to crush things. Obviously, that's duh, right? But, for now, I still need to continue this. I am going to have to replace one of these saplings with a clay sapling for a bit until I can make another pot. And another pot should be pretty easy to make. But first, I need a bucket. So, let's just wait on these to grow some more. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the clay acorn. I'm not hungry yet, so I don't think food is an issue just yet. Go ahead and make the clay acorn. Have the stuff for that done. Actually, I'd like the petrified to keep growing. And I'll take out the dirt and put the clay one in. I will need to repair this. This can be repaired. Can it be repaired with sticks? I don't know. No. Just wood. It actually keeps track of how much you've destroyed. Block's broken 10. But, of course, it doesn't keep track of bonsai pots, sadly. And I'm going to let these go back in the sink, so I'll wait for this one to grow first. And yes, as you can see, my inventory is getting kind of full. But I'm getting clay, which is good, because I need clay now. How do you make a chest slab? Chest slab. Lab chest. Okay, it's eight of those. So like this. Chest slab. Okay. There, yes. It can only hold up to 32 of each item, but that's fine. I can at least store some stuff for now. And I can put two back to back. So that's good. I actually would like to keep the clay out just so I can keep an eye on how much I have. Petrified, too. There. 
Wow, this petrified sapling looks a lot darker now. It looks like a lead sapling. What happened? I don't know what I did. I broke it. I broke its lighting. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I should have enough clay now to make a bucket at the very least. So that's what I'll do first, is I'll make... Actually, let's go ahead and... Go ahead and make five clay. So this is... How much is this? This is eight clay? Okay, so that's three for a bucket, and then five for an extra bonsai pot. I now have to fire them. The only thing is, I need some more stone, which is what I'm waiting on right now. So once I get 20 petrified resin, I should have enough to make a half slabbed uh, furnace. Now, having said that, if I look in here, as you can see, it does only hold 32 in a stack. It always splits them otherwise, so if I try to put them in there, it won't work. So I could take out 64, put it in, and as you can see, it split. So there's that. I'm just waiting for the resin, and I'm not getting it. All right, I have 20. Now let me show you how this is done. It's pretty simple. If this still works, this should work. Yes. Just like this. Now I can make a furnace. Boom. I have a furnace here. Now with this furnace, I can go ahead and cook up this. Two sticks. And then... Actually, I could use a couple more sticks. Ten sticks for the other five. Now I have a clay bucket. Now, I am waiting on this. I would like one more dirt. Can I afford one more dirt? Yes, I can. Let's take out just half of these and make one more dirt. One for that and one for me to turn into mud. Once it's ready. Okay, I already took the clay bricks, well, clay bricks, bricks out. It's time to make them into another pot. That just makes things easier on my end. Go ahead and put another pot in, put that in, and now I can grab... Are these farmland? How does one make farmland? Is it... Oh. Is it just a hoe? I actually don't know. I've never made farmland before in these earlier versions of Minecraft. Admittedly, this is Sky Factory 4, so it's 112. I know. That's quite a bit older than what most people are used to, but does this make... Farmland? What, is... what does that do? That makes rammed earth. I don't know how to make farmland. I just want to make farmland. Farmland. Pretty sure those are farmland. Oh, you hydrate it? Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm just going to throw it in there anyway. As dirt. With a dirt sapling on top of it. So I have them all growing. There. Fertile soil. Oh, that's fertile soil. Fertile soil. How does one get fertile soil? It's one bone meal and a dirt. That's pretty easy, but I don't have bone meal right now. So, now, let's crush some leaves, shall we? Need ten leaves. Crush them. That should be a bucket of water. I don't have a way of getting unlimited water right now. I will later. Uh, did I make... Yeah, I made the cauldron. So cauldron. Bucket of water. Dirt. Mud. And finally... New 3x3 three three compact machine, because I just got grass. Boom. Four pieces of grass. Ugh. Now I can, like I said, most claustrophobic. Let's play for a reason. This is you, you, and you. What I can do is go ahead and remove these. I don't have a pickaxe to pick this up. Yeah. I should have the stuff to pick this up, though. The room. All right. Pick that up. New compact machine can go here. This goes over here. 
Uh, let's put my slab back down real quick. Top of it. Actually, since I have two, I can put one on top of it. So I have one that I can use to make a pickaxe. So I can pick up this. Here, grab these, and go in my new compact machine. Yay! Now, in my new compact machine, what I need is to go ahead and set down my stuff again. So, um, storage can go there with the cauldron here, crushing tub. Here. Crushing tub needs to go here. Actually, since I did it like that, I should put my corner here. Okay. Still looks good. Now in my storage chest, I can go ahead and put all this up. That will be the end of this episode. I've got to do a lot of grinding off cam to get more saplings and stuff. That's going to be the fun parts, getting all the clay res the resin and stuff. <laughs> Not really fun, but, you know, fun fun. This is actually really fun to me. I like it. So thanks everybody for watching. Again, make sure to check out SNHU in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone, and have a good one.